Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you some updates we made to our WimSQL deploy setup cluster command, which is how you deploy WimSQL. It allows you to check your environment configurations before you actually deploy WimSQL. You might be familiar with our WimSQL report module, which you can run before or after you install WimSQL, and it checks a number of diagnostics on the cluster, including configuration. What we've added in the feature I'm about to show you is the ability to actually check your cluster during the installation process and make sure that all your environment configuration settings are up to par with MemSQL best practices. I'm going to show you how to do this. I have a host here that I plan to install two MemSQL nodes on, just a master aggregator and a leaf node. What I've done is I've already created a YAML file that allows you to set up a template for what your cluster looks like. And I'm going to use MemSQL deploy setup cluster and I'm going to pass in this cluster file, which is one way you can install MemSQL. So again, the command is MemSQL deploy setup cluster, and the argument I'm going to give it is cluster file, which is how you can pass in a YAML file that shows the configuration of the cluster. There we go. MemSQL deploy setup cluster, and I'm passing in a cluster file, which is just called clusterfile.yaml. going to ask for a password, which is what you put in the YAML file as your, as your super user password. Then it's going to provide a plan. Now, this will probably look familiar if you use MemSQL deploy before, but the biggest change you see is that after the step of registration, you see there's a step that's called validate environment. This is the new thing that we've recently added, and the value of this feature is that you can check your configuration is optimal while you're installing MemSQL so that you don't run into any unforeseen issues related to OS configuration or other system configuration in the future. And I'll show you what we've added. Previously, if, you, if I were to pr press yes here, the cluster would install, assuming no errors, and you wouldn't necessarily be able to figure out whether your environment is configured properly unless you actively ran MemSQL report check outside of the installation process. But now, when I press yes, it's going to collect a report and check the cluster right away. As you can see, there are a couple of warnings and a couple of failures. I'll look, probably look at the failures first. So the first one is regarding transparent huge pages. It's recommended that we disable this, and it looks like some of my host settings are a little bit different. So I would update that. It also looks like I've set some virtual machine settings a little bit too low, so I should also update those. And the warnings that I won't address immediately, but I will investigate those. What I would do here is I would likely press no and go and address the failures first and foremost, and then investigate the warnings and figure out if I should make any changes to those. Note that all our system recommendations can be found in the link to the video. This not only will link you to our best practice requirements, which highlights our requirements and why we have them, but also it'll link you to directly to this module, which is MemSQL report, and that'll describe some of the checks and why your system configuration should follow them. Great, so I'm gonna press no, which will exit the install process. I will go fix the issues that the failures have brought up, potentially modify the things that are warnings and go back and reinstall, and hopefully these issues that were reported will no longer be issues once I've updated them. And then I know for a fact that my cluster that I install is going to meet the requirements of MemSQL best practices. Thank you for watching.